is underway, Labor Day, a day in which you labor. We have got the uh, grapple on the 299 here, kind of cleaning up some of these tops. We're just going to shove these over here in this ditch. That's where we're going to have our little centralized location for those. Kenny stayed up here last night. We didn't leave till this morning. I got I got Cahill and Mike with me. I'm probably gonna jump on the skitter here in a minute and start uh, some of this. We gotta pull some trees and some of this is just steep. Just like right now, the pushing downhill with the skid steer as steep as it is, it's pretty pretty unstable. So I'm going to have Cahill get in the skid steer and I'll have him go up top here and do some cleanup up there. But for now, I'll try to get these shoved out of the way. That way we got a good access road and uh, get things opened up. And I'm going to pack some logs. Ooh, I see uh, some trouble brewing. Sure do. Sure do. Up here, switched around and uh, the hoses on the grapple, they're not ran how they need to be run. So we'll go over here and swap those and uh, get that addressed. I'm not for sure where Kenny and Mike are, but he said we'll, uh, we'll get these sorted and get Cahill on this thing. He's got some experience on a skid steer anyway. So it looks like we're already leaking out of the grapple. I haven't used the grapple in quite a while, but it looks like we've got a leak already springing up. I must say, I've not been too impressed with this uh, XHD grapple, all things considered. Not been too impressed with it at all. We'll get out here. Maybe it's just water. It might just be water. Kind of looks like it. It's not that oily. Let's hope. Let us hope. I'll be down before I fall down. No, that's oil. That is oil. Well, that's about a typical Monday. We'll get these hoses switched and uh, get back to cleanup. This is quickly becoming one of those jobs I kind of wish I would have just passed on. Because there's no no place to make a deck area here. I mean, I honestly, if, if we make it off this job without throwing a track on the skid steer, I think it'll be a miracle. The grapple, as you can see there, the trouble we're having. Put a new uh, quick coupler on it this morning because one of the couplers was bad. It keeps popping off. We got logs in the grapple, so that's not a good thing. Like I said, there's absolutely no place to deck logs. We are short on room. Everything's on an incline here. The truck's gonna, that, that's all the further my truck would go. It's just, it's just slimy enough that with that trailer I couldn't pull up that hill. So that's, that's never a, a good thing, but the truck's gonna have to back in right there and I'll have to feed it logs with the skid steer when we load out. So yeah, this, this has been one of those deals probably should have just let somebody else cut it. I'm going to get up here now and try to get some of these bucked and laid out where we can try to make a little more room for the deck. It's Cahill's Dragon. Oh my gosh, like I said, it's just, you got to be careful on working on the side of these hills, especially when you put a load on because you will throw the track. These cats are terrible about throwing tracks. And they are no fun to have to put them back on either, so. We'll grab the saw, they're already marked. We'll get these worked up real quick. Uh, cleanup's gonna be a real pain now without having the grapple. That just, that really aggravates me, but like I said, that's kind of a typical Monday, so it seems. Uh, climb out of this thing. We'll get these things bucked and laid out anyway. Kind of doing some cleanup here to round out the afternoon. We've got about all of our cutting done. I think we've got four trees left. Uh, all four of them we've got to pull. 
but I wanted to be sure to get all this cleanup done. And the grapple, like I said, uh, it's it's not. We're having some issues there, so we're having to use the bucket. Mike doing what he does best, sitting down watching. Uh, so yeah, let's try to try to do what we can with what we got. Like I don't normally like cleaning up with the bucket. But I will say the one good thing about the bucket, using it for cleanup, is I can really sweep up the ground. I feel like I can do a pretty good job of sweeping the ground up with it. Just kind of drop it right there, hit the float feature, kind of float right on top. Just grab this little stuff, get it shoved up down here. Now here in a minute, Kenny will come up here with the skitter and push this in tight. I don't usually push it in too tight with a skid steer because I don't want a branch or something to come back. And I hit the machine. You can see Kenny's pushing there. We've got uh, three different piles of tops here. It all has to do with kind of the contour here, the, or the land. Uh, of course, we're on the downhill slide, so we pushed everything on this side, kind of over this direction. It's a lot different up here when we started, that's for sure. Okay, Dale, he's picking some stuff up. subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.